find the real value of x. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to look at how we can find the real value of x from this given equation. We have 2 raised to power 3x minus 2 raised to power s is equal to 120. This is an exponential equation. We don't know the value of s and we want to find the real value of s. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you. Solution. Then we have 2 raised to power 3x minus 2 raised to power s is equal to 120. Then this implies that we have 2 raised to power 3x minus 2 raised to power s minus if this plus 120 equal to the other side, it minus 120 is equal to zero. Then this implies that we have 2 raised to power 3x minus 2 raised to power s minus 120 is equal to zero. We now said let 2 raised to power s is equal to what? y. That is anywhere you see 2 raised to power s, you put your y there. This imply that y raised to power 3 minus y, that is here, y raised to power 3 minus this place, y minus 120 is equal to 0. So we have y raised to power 3 minus y minus 120 is equal to 0. Let's factorize. Then we need to get one of the root. Let's say, let y is equal to 5, then 5 raised to power 3 minus 5 minus 120 must be equal to 0. So let's confirm. The 5 raised to power 3 is what? 125 minus 5 minus 120. Let's see what we get. 125, we have 125. Then minus 5 minus 120 will be what? Minus 125. Then this 125 minus 120 is going to be equal to 0. So therefore, y minus 5 is one of the root. This implies that we have from y raised to power 3 minus y minus 120 is equal to 0. Then we have y minus 5 into, let's see, we have y square plus 5y plus times 24. 24 will be equal to what? 0. Then this implies that y minus 5 is equal to 0 or y square plus 5y plus 24 is equal to 0. So we have two cases now. We are here and this one. Now let's see. From the first case, we have from the y minus 5. We have y minus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, y will be equal to what? If this minus 5 cross the other side, it will come plus 5. 5. Then, or let's consider this. We have y square plus 5y plus 24 equal to 0. Now we can use quadratic general formula. By using, by using quadratic, general formula because this is quadratic equation we have this implies that we have s is equal to what minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a
this implies that we have our A is equal to what? 1, our B is equal to 5, and our C is equal to 24. Then that is, we have this implies that we have minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC over 2A. Then let's see this is equal to we have our B square minus 4AC to confirm. This implies that our B is what? 5 square minus what? F 4 multiplied by A is 1 times our C is 24. 5 square is 25 times 24. This is 96. Then, which is going to be negative, less than 0. That is, this is less than 0. Then from here, we can see that there is no no re root of the equation. So this implies that let's consider the first case, our first case, which is what? Y is equal to what? 5. Let's consider this, our first case. Then we have Y is equal to 5. But we know that we say that 2 raised to power s is equal to what y. This implies that 2 raised to power s is equal to what 5 because our y is 5 here. Then by the law of logarithm or using the logarithm, then we have log 2 raised to power s is equal to what log 5. Then this can be rewrite as we have x log 2 is equal to what? Log 5. Now what do we do? Let's divide both sides by log 2. Let's divide both sides by log 2. We have x log 2 over log 2 is equal to log 5 over log 2. Then this will cancel the our s is equal to what? Log 5 over log 2 so that is the real value of x and that is our answer please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you from here once again we said 2 raised to power s is equal to 5 then we need to take the log of both sides because we said y initially initially we said it's 2 raised to power s is equal to what y and from here now, we now said, we remember that 2 raised to power s is equal to y, then 2 raised to power s is equal to 5, and our y is 5. Then we take the log of both sides, we have log 2 raised to power s is equal to log 5. Then we have, from the law, we have x log 2 raised to power s is equal to log 5. We have s log 2 over log 2, we are dividing both sides by log 2. We have x log 2 over log 2 is equal to log 5 over log 2. Then this will cancel this. Our s will now be equal to what? Log 5 over log 2. So that is our final answer. Thank you.